Yeah, she talked about where I said Nigerian women struggles to struggles to live. That is true. I still beat my chest to talk am. Make una they arrest me now. Now when you don't make me ugly for the thumbnail now, who go marry me? Nobody. Mm. You just uh, le, le kwa no mwa. So you make I know I know say I ugly before, but this <laughs> this general way you add. See how you make me ugly. Mm. See as I see how my mouth be long. <laughs> see how Serious, I joke, okay? I am not looking for a husband, but to point a Ghanaian channel that does that, send me that channel, make I go to the comment section of that channel. If I don't see Ghanaians, they insult that person. They are insulting that YouTuber. I've traveled everywhere, I have beautiful videos, my most selling videos in Ghana on YouTube and not even about Nigerians. This one now, now the new ninja when we did. And when you see this ninja, we shall do it until everywhere come. When we don't respect people, you should fear them. Sorry, I only respect people. I don't fear people. But the fun part for me is that you have repented and you have rethink your life. You want to do the right thing. About one Nigerian YouTuber, Wawu I talked about him promoting Nigeria. You say I say he promotes Ghana. Unano de, don't you have sense? You talked about Kenneth, yeah? Kenneth and I are not enemies, okay? You see all these things I'm saying? I can tell Kenneth. He knows me to that extent. You know, say me, I know they fear anybody. Kenneth know me. Ask him. When you say I say na Kenneth, Abi, no problem. If you feel say na him match that description when I give about a guy that was doing well on YouTube in Ghana, when he was about to leave Ghana, he started using belittling words on Ghanaians. And you don't go sit down, they think I'm who he match. You and Kenneth, they collaborate. Yes. If you say na Kenneth, I did talk. Fine. Maybe he's the one. Ladies and gentlemen, hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, welcome. My name is Lillian. This video is a respond video to a video made by a Nigerian Igbo girl. The reason I'm doing this video is for the sake of the future. Not even explaining myself to anybody because, come on, I don't care. It's because tomorrow... Issues may come up with maybe someone. I may fall out with someone. Issues may come up between me and a Ghanaian or a Nigerian or anyone from any other country. And they, will, they, will, they may want to tag me jealous. And that is why I'm making this video. After explaining myself in this video, I don't know. Whatever comes, it's fine. So I'm just going to play it and you will listen to the parts that I want to respond to because and I don't care because I know where this is coming from this is this is coming from a particular tribe because of course as always but the reason I'm responding is because of what the lies told especially the part that this lady said that I left her a comment like that part I want to correct it but let's listen to it a little Tell them that like she forgot, maybe she forgot, like she forgot that she did not switch her account and left that uh, that comment with her main account. That was the first day I saw this woman, and I after I click on her channel, I I went through her channel, went through every uh, of her videos, some of her videos, and I saw that this woman did not does nothing than to put Nigerians down. She made a video talking about uh, that's about, my uh, job, baby. Her, her encounter with like Ghanaian landlord. She said the reason why Ghanaian landlord don't give us accommodation. Oh, Pat, you did not hear it. It was your Kenneth Wanche that told you. But it's fine. I don't care, like I said, because you see, when you know where your problem is coming from, you know how to deal with it. For me, I know where all of this is coming from and why it's coming. So I'm equal to the tax. But the part I won't sit down and just ignore is the part where she said, I, Lillian, switch accounts. I don't switch accounts because why I am not a coward. If I have anything to tell someone, I would do it and own it with my full chest. I have two phones that I'm using. This one is for my new channel that I created due to my passion to teach other people the little knowledge that I have free of charge. I love it. I'm going to make money from it, but I don't know when because I just started and the motive for it is not for the sole aim, sole aim of making money is to impart and money I know will come when you give value. And this is the phone I'm using with Lily Ogini and one and only YouTube channel 
one and only YouTube account that I have. Because if I want to tell you something, I don't have to pretend I'm not the one. People that does that are people who want to maintain a particular personality on YouTube in public. They want people to look at them in a certain way. I don't care about how people look at me. Mm -hmm. I am myself. I own it. Like my imperfection, I allow them to flow fr freely. So I did not leave this person and I, I never commented on her channel. Okay. I never any day left her a comment. Not because I cannot, but like what for? Because if I leave her a comment regarding how I truly feel about a particular video or that video I'm leaving a comment on, is either going to be negative or positive to her. But I'm going to keep my emotions as it is and she will block me. I know me. See, this person said that when she came to Ghana, I people were telling her to collaborate with me. The truth of the matter is take it to bank. Maybe I'll be believed or not. I did not know when this lady came to Ghana. This is the truth. The only time I knew about this lady was... I think it was during the period she made video. She made a video about an hour video insulting Kenyans, calling them all sort of names. That was when I stumbled on that channel. And of course, she's a Nigerian. And of course, she was at the neck of Kenyans in the name of my country. And I felt like, okay. I made a video saying that this person should apologize. It was that time I went through her channel to check her out and I realized she was in Ghana just immediately, immediately before her Kenya trip. And I went through all her videos and I realized that, okay, this is another pandemic that we're about to deal with. But yeah, of course, I didn't leave her a comment. If I had wanted to leave a comment, I would have done it with my name, Lily Ogini. Yeah, but I did not, but she lied that I did. Now, she talking about the, my struggle. Now, let's get to the part of my struggle with the Ghanaian landlords. Yeah, I made a video in the past talking about it. But when people like Ajim Magzi laid hand on that video and want to use that to console themselves, I blocked the video. Uh, is on private right now um this girl never watched that video because at, at that time she was not i don't think she was already on youtube or even if she is she was not on my channel it was it's tenet her Igbo brother that told her which is cool why not like <laughs> you guys can team together team together because that number is too small to get me lily if his people have not dealt with before in my life, I will say, hey, these people, what did I do? Me, I know what's up. What are you people? See, let's keep going. Who are criminal. Nigerian people, when they enter there, they will not pay their bill. They will tap light from other people. There's nothing she did not say. She made another video of... Oh, dear. I didn't actually say that, but I can say that and not deny it because why not? It is true yeah when we they talk something because it's true you understand so but this is not the bone of contention let's go to more part because i'm not here to deny i have not said negative things about nigerians especially some nigerians um because these negative things are fact mm -hmm. i've said them and i will own them but the ones i didn't do like using a fake account do you know the amount of energy it takes to create a fake account I could use it to put there and so if i can talk to some people publicly so is it you that i cannot talk to <laughs> publicly like you okay i created with an Igbo woman and she was just like insulting it was on the, on that her video and i commented again i say if i'm that woman i will leave that place oh uh, well this person is obviously full of lies from one lie to the other about this about Igbo, Igbo, Igbo. like <laughs> i don't understand makagini what do you want from me i never interviewed have i interviewed an Igbo lady yeah they I spoke, I did a video with Amarachi Duru, who was living in Ghana then, and we had it going good. The video did so well, and up to date, Amara never forgot our experience that day. And um, I did a video with a Ghan uh, an Igbo lady that is married to a Ghanaian man, and I don't think 
my audience will sit down and allow me harass anybody and they watch i don't have that kind of audience on youtube my subscribers are very <laughs> if i do anyhow they will put me straight on my in my place so i did not insult anybody i think that's patricia Danqua that she's talking about patricia and i is because of time should have been on this channel again time has not permitted i don't have any issue with anybody this one she lied but as always that is their way let's go with this woman. i should corroborate with this woman it's okay i won't let you put your tribe down but you want me to let you put a whole nation and not even a nation alone nations down because what the heck are you feeling like better than the rest just your tribe which is just uh, a portion of a country so and now it's hurting you mm -hmm. i wasn't even focusing on your tribe as a tribe i was focusing on the people that are representing you in a negative light and because of course that one word that you come out to say about other people i never even talk them you don't they cry it's okay so when it hurts you think about south africans as a whole zulu all the tribes together put together in one country think about how the whole nation feel when it hurts you think about nations like kenya and of course think about my beloved ghana how do you know how many tribes are in ghana you will sit down and put them all on squeeze mm -hmm. so it they, they pain you now say you want to cry that's how you value your tribe but you can't value other people's um nations but that part i want to clear is um she said i said there are so many things this this I'm low like, self-esteem person you guys know what this guy what this woman said about me you guys should not be asking me to collaborate with her there's anything this has jesus so this person has already been fighting me even before i got to know her i didn't the truth is i am not a jealous person i don't have low self-esteem issue i don't envy other people when they succeed truth be told it doesn't i know this part is not for everyone to believe but that is the truth i am too much into myself like i like myself i'm not talking about self-love okay i'm talking about self-like and this has nothing to do with self-exaltation this is me liking my life like to get it i feel like I'm on point because with all I have gone through in life, I do not smoke, I do not drink, I do not engage myself in any form of vice that consoles me. I just wake up and I'm active on a day to day. There's another part where she said, I'm not adding value. Yeah, I'm not. That is fine. Realize. It made me realize that. It made me realize that. For Nigeria, this is. The image of Nigeria. No, please. I don't want it at all. Yeah, you uh, protect the image of Nigeria. I mean, you want to destroy the image of Nigeria. That strategy, you know, they work. You see, if you want. To, now there's a protest going on at home. You people say you're not going to join. So is it the same Nigeria you're coming out to, you know, to defend? Go and defend her physically because everyone is complaining that the country is hard even though the whole world is dealing with that but because we of course the person that is ruling is not from our tribe we don't like him and uh, we believe is the cause of our problem let us go and speak you won't yet you love nigeria be but like i don't st make it make sense yeah i don't get it it, it, it doesn't want the effort it doesn't want ruining your youtube career for because the same people oh yeah who turn back and say that you are the bad egg okay yeah because you have already ruined your youtube channel according to you now for those that are wondering how did i manage to know that miracle or what's her name used to have less than a thousand subscribers before she came to ghana it was her mouth that she used she used her mouth to confess to appreciate Ghana and say hey, thank you you have lifted me from this to this so she uh yeah definitely she wasn't doing as well as she later did even though she don't appreciate her popular video on her channel you can see this person is full of lies her popular video on her channel is made in kenya and in ghana but she said it's made in Benin republic because of course you, if any day you put those ones down you go still collect from me i'm here for you guys you see this um journey that we have started we'll go finish them you are threatening me do you know how many people from your place are in my place do you know how many people 
are and they are not just there if you go to my hometown you see the best mansion is built by your people because my people don't have money because we are not blessed with business knowledge like your people we are focusing on everybody from my place wants to work with the government they want to go to school after school they want to work with the governor they want to work with as a teacher yeah i have spoken to my people about that and i'm glad that our youths are waking up to realize that we, they don't have to depend on the government so your people are in my place and they have so much to lose you see this nonsense you're threatening me like what are you guys gonna do to me nothing she's telling me i'm going to explain myself one day to who the day you will stand, by the time you stand before the nations of Africa and explain yourself, that is the day I will stand before your tribe and explain myself to your people. I, I got that. Then come outside and fight for Nigeria. That means we are the warriors. Because you are not fighting that for Nigeria. Your mission, the reason is you are not fighting for Nigeria. You are destroying Nigeria intentionally. Because how do you fight for Nigeria? By coming to sit down, set up your ring lights and point out the fault of people from other countries when you have a choice to be in your own country. Now the audacity for me, people from different nations and continents are dealing with their issues and they are solving it. They are dealing with it. So you, you go come off, leave your own country. When no get, when they perfect, you can't come other people, nation, begin to read orientations like how and you say that is fighting for Nigeria. How? Why? Who is fighting with Nigeria that you, her defendant, will come? All the people that have been making ordinary Ghana, come on Ghana, and the ones that are defending these videos are all from your region. Because no matter what we do, uh, no matter what we do inside, we do no matter what outside, we do inside. That, is, that means we are the standard, <laughs> and that is standard for who? From. Hey, standard for who? For me. Nobody on head can set a standard for Lily. Because why? I do like myself to the point that i rather do me than do others. Because there is beauty in being me. Everyone else, like I'll come and copy you. Like how? To be you in terms of what? I, I don't know business and I don't intend to kill myself for that. I do the little I can. See, when you people start to feel like some of you from some part of Nigeria you start to feel like some of you feels like life begins and ends with you. It's not true. Some of us don't care. Mm -hmm. All these threats you are making, threatening my life for threatening that uh, they should do this. What are they going to do to me? You think uh, where I come from, there are no human beings there. I, or you think we don't love our own because we don't sit down and insult other people do not mean that. We don't love our own, but you people, as you keep these videos coming, you see them. Lily is here, and I'm glad you say you have given up. Good girl. Find something else to do, or if you want to do YouTube, do it right. Don't insult. See, if you like, sit down and insult your tribe. You know, consign me. See Nigeria there. Sit down, make video about her. You are on your own. But say you sit down, they feel, find joy in other, in insulting other people. When no be your, you don't get business with them. Like, what is this? You are down the rest to go see this journey that you guys have started we will go on it so we can differentiate between matter we're supposed to deal within the family and matter we're not supposed to deal within the family what is the point of you trying everything to prove that evil people are bad if not that you have bad intention and you have malicious bad, bad intention malicious TikTok and see how many Ghanaians married to evil people last year december and you think that, that is a good um, thing that is a good thing we have other tribes too that are married that are doing intermarriages that is not even the point my point is why be saying now only the people from your region they do these videos when they bring problem why why be saying at them them you turn here and at that same place you turn here and at that same place same place so it means say if we want to be honest if you want to be honest, it means say Nigerians have never ever looked down on Ghanaians. Yes, it is what it is. Things where they do will affect Igbos. <laughs> I see that if you have this hunger from Ghanaian men, maybe your hatred towards Igbos. Ah, but wait, how come some people don't have sense of humor? 
this girl miracle said i'm envious of her um like that part will get there but i don't want to forget he said i'm doing this because my hunger because of my hunger for Ghanaian men so i cannot play again i'm joking about getting married i am not looking forward to getting married again i've been there before and it was not a good journey not because the guy was not good it was i was too young for it i wasn't prepared and i have come to sit down and realize that my life does not depend on getting married it's not defined by me being married or not my life is defined by me being alive and doing my own part as human so i did not um yeah uh, me talking about getting married i'm joking okay Calm down. I'm joking about that. I'm not looking for a husband. When I, I, I was just trying to be funny. I thought maybe you have sense. Anyway, sense of humor is not for unintelligent people. It's strictly for intelligent minds. And what do I expect from this? You're, you're throwing your head towards Igbos. Maybe do somebody you like, like an evil person. Ah! <laughs> this is childish. No. Hey, come on. I don't fight my fellow women because of a man, not especially now at my age. This baby girl's life, when I did like this, at this age, I want to do everything right that I didn't do right initially because I was too young. So, no, I have never dragged, I have never had to drag my man with any lady to the extent that I will now hate on that lady. And not just they will now hit on our people. God forbid. That is not me. When I say I have self, I don't have self-esteem issues, okay? When my relationship don't work out, I don't blame anybody. I take it and I move. Uh -huh. So I don't understand. I've never... Do you know that I've never dated an Igbo man before? Truth. <laughs> not to talk of struggling a man with Igbo lady. I have never in my life dated an Igbo man before. They think say you be Igbo, and when they see, say you not be Igbo, they start to they like you. I feel, like, I feel like no, 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 no. I've never had to deal with that. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I've dealt with that in Nigeria with some Igbo people, um, because I think yeah they just didn't like me because they, when they see me they oh you, they think you are you um, you're my sister when they realize i am not their immediate like i'm not their their sister from that from i'm not an evil person yeah they have completely neglect me and move away from me which is fine i don't have any complaint about that oh this one when we beat around the bush the main point we say we sit down make video about downgrading any country i will come for you if you like be the daughter or son of tinumbo uh -huh. i don't care where you are from oh. you see this journey when we don't start eh? this sunny let us deal with our issues the reputation of nigeria is going down nigerians our as nigerians you can't open your mouth outside to talk because people already believe the way you are on social media the way your people are attacking them on social media that's how you are that is going to stop ma you see that we are putting an end to it hatred is coming from because the hate you have for me is one because i'm evil so no 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 i don't hate you i do not hate the Igbo. Bikono, one name i do not hate the Igbo people what i don't like is anybody regardless of where you are from you sit down you do condescend you go you know go like me i go you see that thing that is what i don't like it's not people i don't hate people mm -hmm. you guys you did this your tribalism i met some of you that are tribalistic which is cool i took it i know die i still have good friends among the Igbos. yeah but you know still me say i go consider they watch you they traumatize other people with your words with your style of videos i mean why do you think it's all right to refer to a country as ordinary like why no make it make sense what is this let's go I think that Ghanaians build me that is the hatred you have for me no 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 no, no. i do not me. no no i don't have issues if Ghanaians made you or not okay i don't have issues i am not um struggling because i already know how youtube works no matter what i do and if you do it other people they won't say oh i've seen that thing on lily's channel or so so and so person i won't go to the other they watch it and enjoy it you say i know they add value for my content me who be the queen of travel around ghana ask them nobody tell that person to step forward you say there is an ibogate that is going around why are you so obsessed with your tribe 
keep it one place and pick up yourself and stand tall for yourself but i'm still not intimidated if you like come from america you see lily you know they consign me i am like that <laughs> has nothing to do with ghana you're not defending ghana from me you're trying to tarnish my image in the name of ghanaians that you what? are who like who is this one like who are you mom i am not you know i don't have any i'm not targeting this person i don't know this person beyond the videos that was okay like you know makes sense let me pass that part my channel watching every video i put on to see if i will make any mistake yes yeah, yeah yes i start to monitor your chat i start to pay you a routine visit to see if you have any stupidity dropped there when you start to showing signs that you are troublesome you like to look other people you like to look down on other people and it gives you joy and you lack creativity all you do is to do that so i feel like okay from time to time i pay all the psycho fans on youtube a routine visit to see if you guys are still on your medication or not i think they are dashing you money at that comment section because they are insulting me that is how big i am and i will continue to be you people's nightmare when i go there all right so if someone is not from your part of nigeria i must not that person must not succeed except that person is from your place this mentality has to change and I don't know how you guys are going to do with that, but you see this one, any toba you come in, <laughs> you know what to get. So let's go. I'll say anything about Ghana so that you go sit down and make the video and tell Ghanaians how bad I am. And I don't care. If anything come to the point where I have to prove myself for, to people, I cannot do that. But you I did, baby girl. You, you did. Oh, shut up. You did. This person even put all our revenue out there. So you have made this much money from Kenyans and Ghanaians and you didn't pay tax. Ah, may they hold you well. That is a joke. Um, as every YouTuber does uh, do pay tax, except you have not started making money. As a YouTuber, once you start making money, you pay tax heavy one so she has paid her tax okay if i talk now she don't know the difference between jokes and seriousness anyway what anyways what do i expect <laughs> it has it's like that okay let's go <laughs> you have made me realize is the whole fight for nigerians and white people are, are, are who sent nigeria? you to fight for nigerians like nigeria is nigeria at the battlefield if you want to fight for nigeria go join the nigerian army what is this social media fight for? I have to do is to point a Ghanaian channel that does that. Send me that channel. Make I go to the comment section of that channel. If I don't see Ghanaians, they insult that person. They are insulting that YouTuber. So what do people really want? You want problem. I want problem. Okay. You are welcome to the home. I mean, I don't have anything to lose. All this threat to my life you are making. There with this. What? Are you people going to be God? Or oh, God, chief, to go and sit down. What it? I don't even supposed to get myself involved. Yeah, don't get yourself involved. Don't cause problem for Nigeria in the name of fighting for Nigeria. You are not. It's not a strategy. You they destroy them. If you love Nigeria, jump into the streets of Nigeria. Go and tell the president what is happening in the country. Maybe he's not away. You say you are not supposed to join the protest, but you are online attacking Kenyans and Nigerians Ghanaians and Ghanaians and South Africans that have not attacked you. You are, you people will be fine. Bullying we are getting from our fellow Nigerians, the same bullying we will get as a whole as Nigerians outside. So, Bekuna also test the, the doses of the medicine you are serving to the evil. So, let other people uh, hate on Nigerians. I think that from here onwards, hate on Nigerians as how? How are people hating on Nigerians on social media? How? sorry guys there's a construction work going on around my apartment how are other people hating on nigerians and who are these you see you see what i'm talking about you see my gospel <laughs> don't fight for nigeria simple leave it mm. normally when i first came to ghana i was you see how the, some of these people say they are fighting for nigeria when i first came to ghana i was everywhere doing showcasing all the beautiful places in ghana because i love nature so much and i will see comment from chikudi i will get insult from okechuku i will see this from chizoba i will get death threats from um whatever whatever 
and these people will tell me you are a mumu, you are a this. I will do videos that has nothing to do with Nigeria inside. They will call me names that I'm promoting. They have, I will go to other people's, maybe I'll just go to watch a video. I will see my name there already written. They will tell that person, you and Lily, you, all these people. And when you see these same people, they will come on channels like Sonny Chima. <laughs> that is their brother. They will say, nah, GCK, well done. They will tell the, the same person, well done. This hate was going on on me and I was so depressed. Then I didn't realize on time that, okay, it could be this. Then when I now realize it, I'm no longer feeling bad. They are dashing you money for insulting me. Ah, I'm a big deal. I have felt you. Mm. Even though I see anything, I will never say anything. Yes, don't say anything again. Shut up. Shut up. Don't say anything again. I'm glad you are down already. The rest to go. Yes, you see that nonsense, we have stopped it. The rest to go. You people leave it. Let's Ghanaians start the insult. Let me see. You will never see any if we are, if we do like that. And this social media space will be calm. But it's okay. Oh, you see all this strategy, blackmailing my emotions. You hate this, you hate that. You know they still me say I don't go talk. Oh, I go talk. Uh, she talked about where I said Nigerian women struggles to struggles to live. That is true. I still beat my chest to talk. Make una they arrest me now. Make una arrest me. You think I'm using Ghana to cover up? I've been making this honest review of my like life events while I was still in Nigeria. The part where I said it's only me and one other person that leaves Ghana and still get the support from Ghanaians is because I have left Ghana before and I was doing my videos from there and I was doing well. No, not as well as I'm doing now. But I understand why I couldn't be productive because the part of Nigeria I was at that time, electricity was a big issue. So product, pro, productivity was not there for me. So I didn't do well. But I'm not complaining. You are the one that is saying I don't have a lot of views on my channel and I'm bragging. Yes, I'm bragging because nothing is by... I'm not expecting, like, I don't care. Yes, you said I appreciate too much, small thing I will. Yes, I'm like that. I was raised that way. And all thanks to my Yoruba family that taught me how to appreciate everything that I get, all the good things that I get, because nobody hold me nothing. If I post a video and my audience don't watch, will I blame them? So for them to watch it and give me up to a thousand, five hundred, I mean, up to... 200 views, 300 views is a big gift to me because I am not like you. I was born, raised to appreciate everything good that comes my way and to fight any negativity that comes my way. So you get it? You are not the only one. Oh, we did plenty. Oh. Uh -huh. If you go to Nigeria and nothing happens. Yeah, about the Nigerian woman in Nigeria, it's true. When you enter Taxin, let me let me bring back your conscience, even though it's dead, because you guys you have used light to kill yourselves. When you enter a bus in, in Nigeria and you want your change, waiting conductor will tell you and will argue, you not be a shower, you go first call you and he go beat you, nothing will happen. Yes. So beating a woman in Nigeria, you think other people are not following us on on instant block and the rest. You don't know they follow us. You don't know. Forget that thing. There's a video by uh, one of your Igbos, um, Nigerian, one lady from Nigeria who talked about it. But because she's Igbo, it was okay for her to talk about it. Uh -huh. But I cannot because, of course, mm, you go there. Anybody when saying the verse for me, I don't mind. No, I don't care. It's fine. The only thing you don't have right to do is if any day you dream and say you want to raise your finger at me, you want to raise. You want one head, one trance of my hair. You want it dropped. That is the day that all your family members, they, are, they will drop one after the other. And how is that going to happen? You will use your hand to do it. You will buy a knife. If that is all you want to use on me, you will stab everybody that you love. And when you are done, you kill yourself. Because me, you can't get me. What is this? Intimidation. Like, is it not okay? The one we do at home, we never do. You must cross border with it. You come to Ghana, if you see a particular YouTuber that is doing, maybe you think, okay, uh, you start to be angry when they are not your, when you, me, I've seen where someone left a comment, immediately he realized I'm not from 
a particular region, he change mouth, he start to insult me up to date. He goes to every comment section and cry. Is it you people using fake accounts? Nah, I get it. I don't use fake accounts because I know they fear anybody. If I want to tell you something, I go tell you and own it. So someone like me that is doing videos publicly, I will not be ashamed or afraid to leave a comment with my account. If I can sit down and film a whole video talking about something or someone i will not be afraid to leave that person a comment make it make sense it doesn't make sense but oh joy and i am not from your tribe and of course as always let's roll later you come and say i said Igbo people came to ghana i didn't say Igbo people precisely but you guys to lie is good i'm not even going to play this again let me just explain it in 2022 there were influx of nigerian youtubers from around the world i didn't say they came to ghana you know they hear english i'll be your hatred for other tribes will just kill you it's fine they came to ghana making content i'm not saying they came physically they they were doing content about ghana and my observation i didn't mention a tribe in that video i said some nigerians okay and that is true because it's true but anyhow you want to put it i don't care mm, i don't care i've been cancelled abby Tango say the giver of life is not from any tribe. He is the creator of all tribes. Crucify me. You say that you do this to me. Hey. So you think that where I come from, I'm not valued. I have people to forget that thing. If people come and say they build mansion, they be, who cares? Leave mansion. I don't care. <laughs> you see these videos, as you guys keep them coming, I'm available for you guys so if you think you are from a particular tribe or any tribe that is above being criticized when you do things when we say one no you think all these women are that are making all these videos all of them um on Ghana. this so it simply means that with the way i'm going now people are gradually realizing that nigerians are peace lover social media they respect other people so i don't they call evil by the name i don't they open things things as they are so i don't know what you're saying i'm not envious of anybody none of you reach where i go envy and i say wait till when i get when i be giver of life i don't envy anybody i can only admire and you me lillian go come they sit down they envy you envy what i'm not like that okay i don't envy anybody <laughs> i know they envy i'm too great like i'm too good to jealous anybody yeah i'm too confident in myself and it's low self-esteem that will make you tomorrow you're talking about your fellow women uh, kenya women they come to nigeria can't they find men you know they are you they sound for your hair people they come your country can't love your men you they angry about it so me when I sit down they talk say ghana man now when you don't make me ugly for the thumbnail now go marry me nobody Mm, you just, you just, uh, uh, you make, I know, I know say I'm ugly before, but this, <laughs> this general way you add, miracle, you know, nice, you have a nice name, miracle, see how my mouth be long, <laughs> see how, <laughs> don't bully me, say, I don't strong, when I first come Ghana, now your people, oh, because they just realize, say, I know from their tribe, that one are usual manners now, then carry and come. But now I've seen me, I know they travel to anywhere again. You say some Igbo get they, they travel around Ghana, they bring content. Who show I'm way, the queen of content. If not me, I have been to every, almost every region. Have you been to the north? No, in Ghana here. I've traveled everywhere, I have beautiful videos. My most selling videos in Ghana, on youtube and not even about nigerians this one now not a new niche when we did and when you see this niche we shall do it until everywhere come i promise you like why do you think we must we must be afraid of other people when we don't respect people you should fear them sorry i only respect people i don't fear people so you see this zero for you you bring that content again, I will, I will answer you. But the fun part for me is that you have repented and you have rethink your life. You want to do the right thing. Go back to school. Do something. Do what is right on YouTube. I won't let you insult Ghanaians because they don't do you anything. They don't do you anything. And I don't go crazy. Say they use Ghana to cover myself. I they fear you before. What are you going to do if, if we are in Nigeria? I've been doing this content in Nigeria. I've been giving my honest review about Ghana. So when I said influx of Nigerians, I wasn't talking about your tribe. But if you say now them, 
It's fine. I only say in flow of Nigeria. You know the hear English. But you say Kenneth. Hey, I talked about one Nigerian YouTuber, Wawuneche. I talked about him promoting Nigeria. You say I say he promote Ghana. Una no they don't you have sense? You know they watch video finish this. You talked about Kenneth, yeah? Kenneth and I are not enemies, okay? You see all these things I'm saying, I can tell Kenneth. He knows me to that extent. He knows me, I know they fear anybody. Kenneth know me, ask him. When you say I say na Kenneth, Abi, no problem. If you feel saying I him match that description when I give about a guy that was doing well on YouTube in Ghana, when he was about to leave Ghana, he started making belittling, he started using belittling words on Ghanaians. And you don't go sit down, they think I'm who he match, you and Kenneth, they collaborate. Yes. If you say na Kenneth, they talk, fine, maybe he's the one. I know beside they fear anybody oh, make a tell you now anybody when plan evil against me, evil go follow you and your children, 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 your mama or your papa, everybody for your family go swim in that evil. That is it. So any other thing that I didn't address, yeah, you're just emphasizing on this husband thing. Don't you have sense? I have been married before, I don't want to get married again. <laughs> Can't I I'm not like you, I'm not an illiterate with dry sense of humor. I, I joke. Mm. Life is not that serious. I joke, okay? I am not looking for a husband, but you see what? Dear future husband, look at me. Mm. Uh, I jumped to the lagoon. I'm glad you have changed your niche, and this is my biggest accomplishment changing a life, teaching you sense. You come back on YouTube, you do this nonsense. Are they here? You say you have other channels. Only God knows what you're doing there. My God, what is this girl doing there? Say politics. You, when no get sense, you they talk politics. Ah, Chineke. Makachuku, the person where you the politics against, I mean, you they use them during the election campaign, they even they brag, say you have a hundred and something view, eight hundred view, you yeah, subscribers, it's this and those songs be achievement for you, if you like, have more million plus, I know they envy you, what the fuck, I know they envy you, now by force to envy you, I know they envy you, because that is who I am, I don't care. I don't care. So you see this content, we are, we are keeping it coming. You come back, you decide now because they don't dash you money. Say you talk about me. Your Igbo people don't give you money. Say you talk about me. Because I'm a big deal and I'm you people's nightmare. You see, sit down and allow you people to continue to bully other people in the name of Nigeria. You know, go see a month. Makachuku, I know go let you. We did these streets. Anything where you wish me, you go collect. You save Nigeria indeed. Go to the streets and protest. Mm, go to the streets. Because if people do all these things and people will say we should not talk because we must not talk. And then this thing is going on and on and on. I am not, I'm not biased about any, any tribe in Nigeria. When you come, when anybody do something from your place, if not, I go point them out. But when 10 people don't do, it's the same energy I get for being a Nigerian. All the things that other Nigerians are doing, people are blaming it on me. For being in Nigeria, my passport is being banned. You think I should be jubilating and come and sit down and form victim when I know you when I know how we they do? Oh got shift. Tomorrow when I see you on YouTube with hundred thousand subscribers, hundred uh, with five hundred million subscribers, I will bow for you. Say you be what? Now you be the giver of life.